Welcome to Comparative VPN YouTube channel. Today's video will be an in-depth review of Bitdefender VPN. Bitdefender is a popular company that stands behind one of the best antivirus software we can get, along with companies like Avast, Norton and Avira. Do you know what these companies have in common? That's right, they all have their VPN services. So far, Kaspersky VPN proved to be one of the best of them overall, although this VPN isn't great either. But is Bitdefender VPN ready to take on the market and stand neck to neck with premium VPNs? Well, that's the question that we are going to address in our Bitdefender VPN review, but also give you two VPN alternatives that are much better. Before we do that, however, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new VPN review like this one. Let's start my Bitdefender VPN review and test by talking about device support and ease of use. As is the case with every antivirus based VPN, Bitdefender won't blow you away with the supported platforms. On the list, we can see Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android, and this is a standard setup. Luckily, the VPN allows for up to 10 simultaneous connections in a single account, which is quite impressive and better than what you'll get on ExpressVPN and NordVPN, for example. The applications of Bitdefender VPN are quite easy to use and the one that I'm showing you looks really nice. If you want to connect to a particular server, you need to click here to open the server list, click on the country you want, and then click on this blue connection button to establish a connection to the VPN server located in this country. Of course, to disconnect, click on this green button right here and you will successfully stop your connection. Here, you can open the dashboard, where you can see your connection statistics such as the amount of bandwidth you used and connection time. And under that, you can find the settings menu which brings us to the next part of our Bitdefender VPN review, security. As is the case with every VPN on this planet, Bitdefender promises to, and I quote, keep your online identity and activities safe from hackers, ISPs and snoops. Is that really the case? Well, it is, seemingly. Bitdefender uses 256-bit encryption to secure your connection, but in the app I can't find the option to enable or disable IPv6 or DNS leak protection. Moreover, the automatic kill switch is here, which is great, but also split tunneling that allows you to exclude certain websites from using a VPN tunnel. Sadly, you cannot do the same with the applications. By default, Bitdefender VPN uses OpenVPN, so you cannot change the protocol, and in the AutoConnect tab, there are more security features where some of them are unique. For example, this website categories feature that lets you automatically connect to the VPN when visiting specific categories of websites. Or perhaps this P2P apps feature that lets you do the same but only when you use P2P file sharing applications like BitTorrent, QBitTorrent, Views, etc. etc. Checking the privacy policy of Bitdefender VPN, we can see that it's very short and vague. First, the company is based in Romania, which thankfully isn't a part of the 14 eyes, so it's a privacy friendly jurisdiction. Unlike its neighbor CyberGhost, however, Bitdefender VPN does not offer a no logging policy and doesn't take advantage of its great jurisdiction the same way. It's important to mention that Bitdefender uses Aura for processing the collected information, and Aura, as you may know, already owns Hotspot Shield and Baronet VPN, two VPNs that aren't very safe and secure, mainly because of their logging practices imposed by their parent company, Aura. Given that the privacy policy of Bitdefender VPN tells us pretty much nothing about its logging practices, we can check Aura's privacy policy where we can see a plethora of information it collects, such as used bandwidth, device identifiers, operating system version, network information, timestamps, IP addresses, approximate geolocation and so much more. But this doesn't mean that Bitdefender VPN does the same. It just collects some info and then gives it to Aura to process it according to its business practices. However, given that Bitdefender VPN is so vague and avoids being direct and transparent with the potential and existing users, we can say that it's not safe to use and definitely not trustworthy. Proceeding with my Bitdefender VPN review, I need to see how fast this VPN actually is. What you see on the screen is my native internet speed and I will use two servers to test Bitdefender VPN and determine how big the speed reduction will be. One server will be located in Bulgaria, which is very close to my real location, and then I will use the server in the United States, which is very far from me, just to see how well Bitdefender VPN performs in different scenarios. As you can see, I am already connected to the VPN server in Bulgaria, so let's revisit the speed test website and initiate the speed test. After the speed test is completed, we can see the results that are all but impressive. My ping already jumped to 100 milliseconds, while upload and download speed saw a significant decrease. Now I'm connected to the server in the United States, so once again let's revisit the speed test website and initiate the speed test. 
Being a more distant server for me, the results are much worse with a very noticeable ping increase and severe reduction in both upload and download speeds. So overall, Bitdefender VPN isn't going to be a very fast VPN, making it not very suitable for torrenting or streaming for example, which couldn't be said about ExpressVPN. In the next part of our Bitdefender VPN review, we need to perform a streaming test and see if you can unblock different streaming platforms abroad. In this review, I will use Netflix and BBC iPlayer. For Netflix, I will use the US catalog and I will try to unblock the movie Batman the Killing Joke, which is available only in the United States and I can't find it, as you can see on the screen, after which I will connect to the UK server and try to watch BBC iPlayer. First, let's connect to a server in the United States and then let's refresh the page. And after refreshing the page, we can see Batman the Killing Joke right here, which means that Netflix US works. But let's try to watch it to confirm it. Needless to say, the movie works flawlessly, but I'm stopping the footage to prevent any copyright claims. Now I will try to watch BBC iPlayer. As expected, it gives me an error message because I'm not located in the UK. So in that case, I will connect to the server in the UK with Bitdefender VPN. And of course, I will refresh the page. And after refreshing the page, I can see the same jail restriction message once again, which means that BBC iPlayer doesn't work. In the streaming test of our Bitdefender VPN review, it shows mixed results, being able to unblock Netflix US, but not BBC iPlayer. Also, when I tested other streaming platforms like Hulu and Amazon Prime Video, I had no luck unblocking them, so after all, this will be a good VPN for Netflix only, in case you don't mind slow connection times and speeds. Unlike Kaspersky and similar antivirus-based VPNs, Bitdefender VPN is actually transparent about its server network. It has 1300 servers around the world. In the app, it says that 48 locations are available, which still isn't a bad number given that NordVPN gives you 59 of them, for example. In our Bitdefender VPN review, we saw that the server distribution isn't the greatest, particularly in Africa, where the only country you get is South Africa. Asian server distribution is more or less ok, and in Europe, you can even find servers in Russia which more expensive VPNs won't give you. Dedicated and P2P streaming servers aren't on the list, but they're not expected at this level. In the Bitdefender VPN test, we also tested customer support of this VPN provider and we have mixed feelings about it. As you can see, there are three methods of getting help. You can directly call the VPN, send an email or use 24-7 live chat. The bonus method is called Expert Community and this is Bitdefender's forum. What I'm pleasantly surprised with is that you can contact Bitdefender VPN via phone from a variety of countries like the UK, Brazil, Australia, Japan, Italy and many more. Plus, there's a worldwide service available 24-7 which is a really nice addition. Some of you will be too shy for a phone call and in that case you might want to use 24-7 live chat option which isn't exactly available 24-7. I tested it many times and 8 times out of 10 I got the message saying that the support team isn't available, so I'm not exactly sure about their work schedule. And now we've come to the pricing in our review of Bitdefender VPN. I'll tell you right away that this is a really cheap and affordable VPN offering two subscription plans. A monthly plan at $6.99 a month and the annual plan at $2.49 a month or $29.99 upfront. Both plans are covered by a 30 day money back guarantee, so if you want to get your money back, you can do it in the first 30 days of your purchase. All this sounds great, right? Exactly, but only if the VPN was any good and trustworthy. Thankfully, there's CyberGhost, another cheap premium VPN that offers 7000 servers in 90 countries, much better speeds, dedicated P2P and streaming servers, stronger security, a no logging policy, 24 7 support, better device support, and so much more at a really affordable price. Or if you want to pay a bit more and get a lot more, you can go for ExpressVPN with its 3000 servers in 94 countries, the fastest speeds on the VPN market, even better security, a verified no logging policy, responsive 24 7 support, and more efficient website and blocking capabilities. Just in case you want to avoid Bitdefender VPN, which you should do by the way, I left links to both VPNs down in the description below the video, so you can check them out and get special discounts for their long term plans. So let's conclude our Bitdefender VPN review and test. Bitdefender VPN is all bark but no bite. In other words, it promises a lot and delivers only a fraction of its promises. This VPN is not safe and secure and this is all you need to know to avoid it. But if you want me to be honest, I will also mention very slow speeds, lackluster device support, not very good streaming capabilities, smaller server network and its vague no-logging policy that screams get away from this VPN as soon as you take a read. 
However, the alternatives we presented, CyberGhost and Express VPN, are much better VPNs in every way, and even though they're a tiny bit more expensive, with their 45 and 30 day money back guarantee respectively, you will not lose a single dollar by testing them out, and you will gain a lot in terms of privacy and online security. With that said, this was all for today's video, we hope you liked it, and if you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and stay with us because many more VPN reviews are coming very soon. See you in the next video, bye!